You didn't even need me to quiet down, folks. I really appreciate that. Good evening. Thank you for being here. Thank you. This is you should, really, this is going to be a sensational evening. There's a lot to celebrate beginning with our honorees. So if you would, let's start the evening by, by thanking them. This is the reason we're getting together today. Thank you so much, Mark. Prisma, on behalf of Prisma, Amy, Shoshana, thank you for being here, really. We're so excited. There is a lot to look forward to. This program is just the start. Well, actually, that was just the start. This is the middle. Then we'll go upstairs as soon as we finish here, about 8 o'clock, to the, to the rooftop. Um, and the elevator will say R. We'll give you directions when we're ready to head up. This evening gives us the opportunity to celebrate our Schechter Manhattan family, our students, our teachers, there's our honorees, um, and those who put this together, as well as our friends at the JCC who are hosting us this year. There's just so much to look forward to, including the views up top. I want to give you a quick reminder that there is a silent auction, and there are really great gifts. It's about a dozen um, items for you to bid on. Please um, be sure to um, consider what you would bid on. I know I'm bidding on a few things. Uh, so if you see my name, feel free to just move on. But the ones my name is not on, uh, we we really, it's a fundraiser. We're getting together to celebrate honorees, to raise money for our school. The start of Teacher Appreciation Week begins this evening. So if you see someone wearing a rose like this, please be sure to acknowledge and thank them. This is a teacher, faculty, staff member. Teachers, we're grateful that you're here this evening. And I speak leanly, folks, so I'm ready to invite our students up. The band, the middle school um, band elective is going to get started here now. They're going to set up in just a bit, um, led by Daniel Ori. They're going to play two songs. It's going to be really fantastic. They have been trying so hard. So without further ado, we're going to get our night started with our middle school band ensemble led by Daniel Ori. I can lift you up. I can show you what you want to see and do you what you want. You could be my luck. If the sky is falling down, I know it will be safe and sound. We're safe and sound. I can feel your cup. You know who would evaporate this will be still appreciate. You could be my luck. If in a hurricane of frowns, I know that we'll be safe and sound. We're safe and sound. We're safe and sound. We're safe and sound. I can show you love. In a tidal wave of mystery, you still be standing next to me. You could be my luck. Even with six feet underground, I know that we'll be safe and sound. We're safe and sound. We're safe and sound. We're safe and sound. I can lift you up. I can show you what you want to see and take you where you want to be. You could be my luck. Even if the sky is falling down, I know you could be safe and sound. We're 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 safe and sound. 
We're saving sound. We're saving sound. We're saving sound.
Please welcome Howard Rubin, President of Schechter Manhattan's Board of Trustees. Thank you. I know my script says I'm supposed to say thank you to the band and to uh, Daniel Ori, but I want to say if that doesn't make you fell. Then I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what will. Um, and also, uh, I know we have a run of show, and we actually went through a whole rehearsal, and now I'm going to go off script, which uh, I know will drive some people they're crazy. But the person who puts together the run of show never puts down a place for them to be thanked. And anybody who's ever done a fundraiser with this uh, at this school knows that Eric Baumquist does 95% of the work. And I really couldn't uh, couldn't be standing up here and not thank him for all of that. I know he has in the script that later he's going to thank the, the chairs of the of the gala and other people who worked hard on it. But I really had to start with uh, with with Eric. And now it's a great pleasure for me to interview an, an old friend, Rabbi Joanna Samuels. We were just talking about how long we've known each other. Uh, she graduated um, magna cum laude from uh, Barnard College and received uh, rabbinic ordination from the Jewish Theological Seminary, where she was a Wexner graduate fellow serves on the advisory board of the West Side Campaign Against Hunger and the Plaza Jewish Community Chapel, which is a board that I also served on with her. Then she went to work as the rabbi for Habonim, where we worked together there for a while. And she uh, helped revitalize that, uh, that synagogue's community, um, worked as an advocate, strategist, and mentor for women's advancement and gender equity in the Jewish community and advancing women professionals and Jewish community, and then went to become the director of the Manny Cantor Center Education, Educational Alliance, where my wife had served on the board for 15 years. So we went down and visited her there to see all the good work that was being done there. And now, of course, is at the initials are the MMJCCM, this wonderful uh, JCC that you're in. They really need to do something with those initials. It's a little, little much to read but obviously has turned this into a fabulous, fabulous, successful institution. And we're partnering again. Um, as you hear me talk about a little more in a, in a little while, we had our Names Not Numbers program here, which is what young students learn about, about the Holocaust and meet survivors. Um, we are having this gala here and we're actively working on a partnership for next fall for various, doing various and sundry programs here. So it's a great pleasure for me to interview my old friend, Rabbi Joanna Samuels. Thank you so much. Are we, are you interviewing me or were you introducing me? Oh, good. I got scared. Okay. Um, good evening um, and mazel tov to everyone at Solomon Schechter School of Manhattan. Board of Directors, your leadership, the community, and your supporters on such a wonderful and successful evening. And I want to just give a special welcome to all of the teachers who are here, um, whose work is so integral to creating the magic that goes on in the school and in its classrooms every single day. My children are in high school now, but there were many days when they were younger when I would bring them to school and deposit them in classrooms and I would think, oh, thank God. Um, so thank you for doing all that you do every day um, for children and also for their parents and caregivers. And thank you to everyone for choosing to celebrate here at the JCC. I am so delighted to be here to share a warm welcome on behalf of all of us. Um, and I thank you so much for being here and also for the invitation to say a few words. I was thinking a bit about Do Dr. Solomon Schechter, the scholar, um, as a means of reflect reflecting briefly on Solomon Schechter, the school. Schechter, as you were aware, was among the most prominent scholars and some say one of the discoverers of the materials of the Cairo Geniza. And thanks to his work, we know a lot more about two things. 
The first thing we know a lot about is Jewish life in medieval North Africa, because of course, a Geniza is a repository for sacred texts. And the one in Cairo had thousands of sacred texts, but it also had amazing mundane items like marriage and divorce certificates and bills and shopping lists and other things that help us see the three dimensions of a community. And altogether, these texts teach us about a community of our ancestors in Fustat, Egypt, all of the complexities and details and mundane, de and mundane events of their lives. But the second thing that we know about as a result of Solomon Schechter's work is even more important. His scholarship on the Geniza created a community of scholars and learners, one that began in the earliest days after the discovery and continues to the present day. At Cambridge, at Oxford, at JTS, at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem, at Princeton, in countless other places, Scholars study these sacred fragments as a community of learners, both in the times in which they live, but they're also studying across the generation. And I sometimes think that the study of the Geniza will one day produce its own Geniza that will be discoverable by future generations and will create community among them. And so we learn from Solomon Schechter that the work that one does in one moment can have seeds that are planted that grow in so many different ways and in ways we can't imagine. I would say also that Solomon Schechter is, of course, such an important person within the conservative movement, but the scholarship around the Geniza and I would say the work of the Solomon Schechter School Network goes so far beyond any one movement and into being a radiant force for the Jewish people and for our community. And so these are the two things I wish for you, Solomon Schachter, the school, to continue to play your unique role in creating a school where children are engaged deeply in learning, but to understand the community that you create around this learning as equally important. It goes beyond the walls of the school. It goes beyond this present moment and it will connect your students to each other in the future so that their voices, their continued search within our tradition becomes its own record echoing into eternity. So once again, I extend a warm welcome to all of you and a special welcome to Mark Carey, Shoshana Akabis, and the whole wonderful Akabis clan, whom I know for many years at B'nai Jeshurun, and also to Preet's Ma for all that you do on behalf of Jewish day schools and to say thank you for the shared commitment that we all have to what Solomon Schechter championed and what Solomon Schechter the school embodies and may the future be bright. Thank you. And I'm really looking forward to our partnership between the school and the, and the JCC. So it's time for Tachlis, um, which is basically my role um, in the school. Lord knows I'm not a teacher. Um, so now we, uh, we're going to do text to pledge. Those of you who are old enough may remember that UJ used to have card calling. I, I've done that at many fundraising events. If you look it up and announce their gifts, we don't do that anymore. Um, and a few years ago, we actually auctioned off my house uh, for people to, and my good friends, Elaine and Ron Morris uh, came in and took it and used it for a week. But now the technology is we text to pledge. So there it is. There's the information on texting to pledging. Now we have matching gifts. We have $15,000, which is that first amount, that's really only a matching amount that will increase as people as people donate. Um, and hopefully we will fill the rest of that thermometer and get up to $30,000. Um, there's a lot of good food and stuff waiting upstairs, but we're not leaving here until we, uh, we so just, I hope that, I hope that incentivizes you, even if the, even if discussion of where the money will go um, doesn't. Um, but you heard me mention before, um, uh, names, not numbers. That's a program started by uh, Tova Rosenberg um, in which students, uh, eighth graders, get to uh, meet and interview Holocaust survivors. And not only do they, they meet them and they interview them and learn about the Holocaust, but they also learn about uh, interviewing. They learn skills of, of filming and editing, and then they produce a movie. And I actually came. It was actually done at the JCC. And I came and watched it, and it's incredibly moving uh, to watch the kids learn about this and to see them in, 
encounter, let's face it, this, the, the remaining uh, survivors, they're not gonna be around much longer. So it's great to see them preserved on film and to see our students learning about it. One of the survivors joined, them, joined us by Zoom and gave an incredibly inspiring presentation to the kids, but this costs money. And we need to raise the money to keep that program going. So that's one reason I'm hoping you're all reaching for your phones. Also, we take the kids on um, field trips to Washington, D.C. and to Albany, where they learn about the roles in what's left of our democracy. Um, <clears throat> now, that's not, in, that's not in the notes that Eric wrote for me. Uh, uh, um, the tapestry of our nation's institutions and value are on display during these trips. In any event, we do that does also cost money. And so we uh, and later and later on, Beth Mann will come up and talk to you about some of the other ways that we uh, things that we do with, with the with the money that you will now be so generously donating. And so uh, well, we have a couple of gifts, but hopefully we're going to have have more soon and reach toward the toward our goal of reaching thirty thousand dollars, which will fulfill our fundraising goal for this gala. So thank you very much. Schechter Manhattan celebrates this year's gala honorees. When I went to school here, Schechter had the same core warmth. Students' work is valued, their talents are valued and encouraged by teachers, uh, which is so meaningful. What are the commonalities between Schechter Manhattan and JTS? Well, they're both thinking about how do we prepare students for the future of the Jewish community and how do we prepare students to actually advance the future of uh, Jewish life in America. My experience in day school was so profound and literally changed my life and changed my outlook on who I could be as a Jewish person that I knew I needed to go into this field. One of the most valuable resources a day school can have is in the dugma'ot and the examples that our community champions and I would be proud for any of our honorees today to be acknowledged for the work that they do to further Jewish education. Well, I started my career in law. In fact, I practiced law for 35 years. Arne Eisen approached me and said, would you think of retiring from law and coming on to the staff of JTS? Schechter Manhattan is honoring Mark Gary this year, chiefly due to his work at community building, advancing the Jewish Theological Seminary, and fostering awareness of our school, serving as someone that our trustees could uh, come to, could depend on, could speak to, um, and who could galvanize support for the school. For many, many years, I've had the great opportunity to work closely with the leadership of Schechter Manhattan in helping to ensure the viability of the institution and the vibrancy of the institution going forward. It's heartwarming for me to know that there's some appreciation for the work that I've done for the institution. I've been volunteering with refugees since college. When I returned to New York for grad school, I started volunteering with Hyas and met a mom from Afghanistan who was pregnant and she didn't know anyone here. So I asked a friend of mine who had recently had a baby if she had any extra clothing, supplies, and she had way more than she knew what to do with. So we passed them along to this expecting mom. And it sort of occurred to me in that moment that this was an incredible solution for a big problem, which is that refugees come here, they don't have a community, they don't have resources, they don't have connections. By 2020, we had more than 100 kids in the program. We now have a team of eight. We serve about 350 kids in New York City. Shoshana's work has done a brilliant job of exemplifying the commandment to care and love the stranger. Shoshana is a quintessential example of the spirit of Schechter Manhattan and the seeds and the values that we have planted coming to fruition and effecting real change in a world that is desperately in need of it. It really was a risk to start a nonprofit and take a very sharp turn in my career. And to be receiving this honor from Schechter Manhattan just means so much to me. Prisma deeply holds to the value of doing everything we can to help day schools be the best they can be. Recently, the lay leadership of Schechter Manhattan reached out to us to ask us to support them in their work in finding the next head of school. It's not just a job. It's creating an entire relational engagement with the community. Schechter Manhattan is honoring Prisma, and we're thrilled that Amy Wasser is accepting the award on behalf of Prisma in gratitude for the countless ways that they have supported our school 
and countless other small schools since 2016 when Prisma began. It wasn't prescriptive. It didn't offer us who we had to be Jewishly, but rather Prisma has served consistently as a source for networking, for community building. We concentrate every day on helping to support what we feel is literally holy work. And so tonight is just so meaningful and we're so grateful. We are working to cultivate the leaders in the liberal Jewish community for tomorrow. I've appreciated so much uh, what goes on at, at Sheffield Manhattan, how they teach students and how they prepare students for a Jewish future. Judaism is a religion of questioning, and I think that came through at Schechter and informed what I did when presented with a problem. They have an engagement with the world that other students don't have, and we see the world being impacted by the alumni of Jewish day schools literally every day. Schechter Manhattan community, good evening. It's an honor to be here to present this year's Alumni Leadership Award. For those who don't know me, my name is Eli Kaminsky. I graduated from Schechter Manhattan class of 2008, after which I attended Birchwath and Lenox for high school and then Brandeis University for college, where I studied business, psychology, and history. These days, I lead shopper marketing for several key accounts at Anheuser-Busch, and this past summer, I proudly joined the Schechter Manhattan Board of Trustees, along with Sarah Malamut, class of 2009, as the first ever alumni board members. I'm very proud. Thank you. I'm very proud to be here tonight, not only to represent the Board of Trustees, but also the entire Schechter Manhattan alumni community. One might not expect a very experienced board like ours to embrace young and relatively inexperienced alumni. However, Sarah and I have been given the space on this board to champion the importance of Schechter Manhattan's unique and special style of ed education and its massive impact on our students. Those close to me will have heard me say many times that Schechter Manhattan saved my life, and I apologize in advance to the board who recently heard this story. But when I was starting school, ADHD and similar neurodevelopmental disorders were not well understood to the point where my preschool program asked that I not re-enroll for kindergarten. My mother has often told me how in my interview for Schechter with Dr. Steve Lorch at the time, he responded to her, we can work with him. And that is exactly the approach that makes Schechter Manhattan the special school that it is. A school that curates learning for every student who walks through its doors. A school that embraces the art of questioning everything. A school that teaches students, to quote one of my favorite movies, Robots, to see a need, fill a need. And that brings us to why I'm here tonight. This year's recipient for the Alumni Leadership Award, Shoshana Akabis Barzell, exemplifies everything that Schechter teaches and hopes its students will become after graduation. And no, I'm not just saying that because she's my cousin. If you take in Shoshana's achievements tonight and everything you already have started to see, you will see that giving her this award was a no brainer. Shoshana's organization, New Neighbors Partnership, which as she already said, said and will continue to say tonight later, pairs newly arrived refugees with families that create a pipeline of clothing, essentials, and most importantly, community for them and their children, started as the perfect example of see a need, fill a need. Shoshana didn't start, join a large organization and scale the corporate ladder or find an opportunity to start a company to bolster her resume. No, she started this organization out of the trunk of our family's Ford Flex. Sometimes I use it a little more than I should. Driving it to New Jersey and Westchester to bring people clothing and other supplies because she saw a need. Her work was embraced so much that it grew into the amazing organization it is today, and I'm sure that growth will continue. But don't let me keep butchering this story. Let's pass it off to the person who can tell it better than everyone, anyone. Please give a round of applause for this year's Alumni Leadership Award recipient, Shoshana Akabis Barzal.
Thank you so much, Eli. I'm really proud to be your cousin. Hi, everyone. Uh, so you've already heard a little bit about the story, but in 2016, I met a pregnant mom from Afghanistan. She'd fled Kabul with her family after being targeted by the Taliban for assisting US troops. She didn't know anyone in New York and didn't even have a onesie or pajamas, let alone a crib or car seat for the baby she was expecting. Since refugees typically receive only three months of resettlement support, I introduced her to a friend who could provide ongoing clothing hand-me-downs from her own daughter from season to season. I never planned to start a nonprofit. In fact, I continued to work as a writer and teacher for several more years, even as the initiative grew. Eventually, what started with a connection between two moms turned into New Neighbors Partnership, and I'm proud to report that our nonprofit now has a staff of eight and serves 350 kids from 34 countries around the world, from Afghanistan to Ukraine to Venezuela and Myanmar. At Schechter, I was taught that Judaism is more than a religion. It's a way of life. And the values that we learn through our faith are not just theoretical concepts, but pra practical principles that I have tried to live by. The mother from Afghanistan needed the kind of community I've been lucky to have my whole life. So when I saw a possible solution for her and other newcomers from around the world, I felt empowered to do something about it. As a descendant of immigrants, as a proud Jewish woman with the responsibility to ease the burden of refugees because our own ancestors were strangers in a strange land, and as the product of Jewish day schools like Schechter that encouraged compassion and taught me to seek solutions rather than turn a blind eye. I'm grateful for the foundation I received here and so grateful for this honor tonight. I hope New Neighbors demonstrates that everyone has the power to contribute and help make our community, our city, and our country a more welcoming place. And I hope that when we see solutions and ways to improve our community, may we turn to our Jewish values and pursue them. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. I realized that I did not introduce myself when I came up earlier, and I'm going to blame Chris from last week when I typed up my notes and didn't put an introduction here. But first, I actually want to say thank you to the Alumni Committee for voting on Shoshana's award this year. This is actually not something that the faculty or Eric or I did. This is our Alumni Committee that voted after hearing a number of, um, of outstanding candidates. And so Shoshana, really, your peers also acknowledge you. So thank you. Um, so I'm Chris Aguero, head of school. I should have said that uh, 20 minutes ago. Sorry about that, folks. It's really my great pleasure this evening actually to, to um, introduce the award to Prisma. Prisma holds space as a, as a network for Jewish educators, teachers, professionals to build professional communities of support and development. Prisma responds in real time to the needs of day schools and small Jewish day schools hold a very special place in the hearts of many on the Prisma team. One such heart belongs to Amy Wasser, a former head of school herself and a fabulous colleague who is on the front lines responding to the needs of our schools, big and small. So this evening, Amy Wasser accepts Schechter Manhattan's award on behalf of the entire Prisma team, led by the formidable and the dedicated Paul Bernstein. So please welcome this evening, Amy Wasser on behalf of Prisma. There's one more thing. Pardon me. Thank you, Chris. Good evening, everybody. And thank you for such warm words. When Chris called to let me know that Schechter Manhattan wanted to show gratitude to Prisma tonight at your annual celebration, it meant so much. Key to Prisma's values in working with schools is forming meaningful and impactful relationships with the people in the buildings. The trust your leadership, both lay and professional, have put in Prisma has allowed us to deeply understand who you are as a community. As we built our connection with you in many interactions over the years, the latest, 
partnering with you and bringing Chris to the school. We were able to understand the important space the school plays in the Jewish educational landscape of the Upper West Side. Thank you for recognizing the importance of our relationship. But really, the PRISMA team feels gratitude for each of you, the lay leaders who are there to make sure the school is on solid footing and strategically visioning for the future, the professional staff who every day work to create a program of excellence laden with Jewish values, and the families who intentionally choose Schechter Manhattan as their child's academic and spiritual home, and as well as everyone else here, the community at large, who know how important the school is to the future of pluralistic Judaism. It is to all of you that my colleagues and I say thank you. Rabbi Harold Kushner, who passed away just this last week said, our souls are not hungry for fame, comfort, wealth, or power. Our souls are hungry for meaning, for the sense that we have figured out how to live so that our lives matter. That is what Schechter Manhattan gives its graduates, the tools to be on a path, not only to give meaning to their lives, but to those whom with they will interact with in the future, making an impact in their Jewish communities and the broader world. Chazak, chazak, benit chazek, may this wonderful school and this community go from strength to strength. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. I'm really glad to see you all here. I'm Julie Sussman, the immediate past president of Schechter Manhattan, and I'm very pleased and honored to be presenting this award to Mark Gary. I first met Mark way before I was on the board of Schechter Manhattan. We were at Shul on Shabbat, and when services ended, my husband, Phil, looked a few rows behind us, saw Mark, and said, wow, hey, I want to introduce you to someone. Phil had worked with Mark many years ago when Mark was at Bell South, and Phil was delighted to see Mark again. Mark had recently come to New York City to be executive vice chancellor at JTS, and as we left Shul that day, Phil said to me, I like Mark, he's thoughtful, which for those of you who know Phil and his understated ways, that's pretty much the highest of compliments. I actually came to work with Mark a few years later when I was board president at Schechter Manhattan. It is a rare occasion when Phil's work world and my lay leadership worlds overlap. And this is because Mark is a rare type of leader. He's a successful leader in the corporate world, and he's also a successful professional and lay leader in the Jewish nonprofit world. Any organization where Mark shows up with his leadership is lucky to have him. And we at Schechter Manhattan have been especially lucky to have him on our team. He came to us at a significant moment in the life of the school, and his contributions are too many to name here. He served on several of our committees and task forces, contributing his smarts, his resourcefulness, his strategic thinking. He helped connect us with folks who helped us in critical moments and challenged us to think smarter about key issues that could make our school stronger. I'm particularly happy to honor Mark today, though, because of how much I like working with him. Being president of a nonprofit board is very hard work. And having Mark as a person I could turn to made me feel more supported, more confident, and more capable in the role. He led the, with the question of how can I best help you and how can I best help the school? Because of my many conversations with Mark, I am a better leader. My strategic thinking is better. My financial rigor muscles are stronger. I'm a better question asker and I'm more brave and more bold when I channel Mark's wise counsel. But Mark didn't only help us here at Schechter Manhattan and he didn't only help JTS. You all have seen in Mark's bio in the gala materials, the various Jewish organizations that he's involved with, but that's not even all of it. At various points in our conversations over the years, bits and pieces would come out of other experiences that Mark had had that were informing the wisdom that he was bringing our way. 
He helped found a Jewish day school in Washington, D.C., and has been on the boards of other Jewish day schools in Atlanta and in Boston. He helped found a shul in Atlanta, and the list goes on. Because of Mark's leadership, not only is Schechter Manhattan better, our whole Jewish community is better. Mark is generous, humble, fun to talk to, and yes, thoughtful. He has become for me a trusted advisor, mentor, and friend. And for all of that, I am thrilled to be able to say thank you to Mark in front of all of you with this honor from Schechter Manhattan. Wow. Thank you, Julie. Those were <clears throat> incredibly generous words. You know, one of my greatest joys of getting the opportunity of working with the folks at Schechter Manhattan has been my association with Julie. I have the, just the greatest affection for Julie as a friend and the greatest admiration for her as an outstanding Jewish leader. I'm very grateful to the leadership of Schechter Manhattan for bestowing this honor upon me. I'm proud to be included with the other honorees who I can truthfully say, and this is without any false modesty, are much more deserving than I of this honor. I congratulate them both. Most of all, I want to express my deep appreciation to all of you for coming to this event and for supporting this wonderful school. Some of you have come from very far distances to be here, such as my nephew Jordan and his wife Anna, who came from Chicago just for this event. I know it's always perilous to recognize certain individuals and not others, particularly because I'm so grateful for everyone's attendance here today. But nevertheless, I would like to acknowledge with a full heart the presence of the Chancellor of the Jewish Theological Seminary, Chancellor Shuli Lubin Schwartz, and her husband, Eric Fishman, my Russian literature, Chavrusa. Professor Arnold Eisen, the Chancellor Emeritus of JTS, and my former boss, uh, more a friend than a boss, uh, with his wife, the Bible scholar and great teacher, Adrienne Levine. Rabbi Jack Moline, the former executive director of the Interfaith Alliance in Washington, DC, and more importantly, my teacher, my college roommate, and my dearest friend for over 50 years. And finally, my son, Philip, who is the product of Jewish day school education and took its lesson seriously, particularly the admonition, Zedek, Zedek, Tir Dof, justice, justice you shall pursue and has made the pursuit of justice his life's work. I am immensely proud of him and of his sister Tamar, who could not be with us here tonight. She's in Atlanta, hopefully watching us on Zoom. There's a story about the legendary JTS professor, Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel, who was trying to convince a young man to attend JTS. The pr prospective student resisted on the grounds that the famous Jewish educational institution was too parochial. Rabbi Heschel considered that objection for a moment and then replied, well, when you think about it, Moses was a very parochial person. I think what Rabbi Heschel meant to convey by that brief retort is that you cannot fully engage with the world as a Jew Unless, we, unless you truly know who you are, unless you are steeped in our rich traditions, unless you appreciate the vicissitudes and lessons of Jewish history, unless you have been immersed in the wisdom of Jewish texts, and unless you've experienced the beauty of our cultural heritage. But more than that, as a Jew, you cannot make the impact on the world that you set out to do unless you understand in both an intellectual and in a visceral way, the mission that has been entrusted to you. 
to perfect a broken world. That's why Schechter Manhattan is so important. It teaches students not only math and science, but more importantly, it teaches them who they are, the rich legacy bestowed upon them and the unique role demanded of them. Give me a place to stand, said Archimedes, and I can move the world. Schechter Manhattan gives its students the firm foundation of Jewish identity, knowledge, and mission on which to stand. And the rest is up to them. Thank you again for being here and supporting this great institution. Good evening. I'm Eric Blomquist. I'm the Director of Development and Operations at Checker Manhattan. Thank you. And I'm either to be applauded or to blame for this evening. So I thank you all for coming. It's great to see the auditorium full. Um, I want to take a few moments and acknowledge the many people that went into making tonight the event it is, because no one person can do it, despite what Howard says. First, I want to thank Howard and Beth Mann and Chris Aguero. We have weekly phone calls where we talk about fundraising and how we're gonna to get to our goals this year. And all I can say is if you have not yet donated, please do. Now, I also wanna thank our honorees, Mark, Shoshana, and Amy. It has just been a joy to get to know you better, to work with you, to, um, to bring you into this whole process. And then I wanna thank our gala committee. Our gala committee is this year made of, of parents, alumni, and members of the board of trustees. Uh, our chairs are Itamar Arnold and Eileen Leonardo and Sarah Malamut. Itamar and his wife, Eileen, are parents in the school. Sarah is one of our alumni. She graduated in 2009. Not only did she graduate in 2009, she's our 2021 Alumni Leadership Awardee, and she's one of the first two members from the alumni to become a member of the Board of Trustees. Our co-chairs this evening are parents and alumni as well. Alex Benchamal, Serene Sutton, Danny Ori, who uh, did such a wonderful job with the music tonight and we have more to come. Donna Morgan, Shira Braun, and of course, Lauren Kupferberg, who worked closely with Itamar and myself to make sure that we had vegan options and you know, people's allergies were concerned and the decor was going to be just right. She's just an incredible in her attention to detail. Bravo to you, Lauren. And I want to thank everyone who's made this evening a success from the committee. In addition to Chancellor Shuli Rubin Schwartz and Chancellor Arnie Eisen from the Jewish Theological Seminary, we have Alan Levine, who is the chair of the board with us tonight. We also have Rabbi Jack Moline, who recently re retired as the executive director of the Interfaith Alliance, Rabbi Howard Stecker from Temple Israel and Great Neck, and Rabbi Larry Siebert from Town and Village Synagogue. From Prisma, we have David Friedman, who is the chair of the board. We have Dan Perla. We have Rabbi Mark Wolf. And we're really blessed to have Tova and Dove Rosenberg here tonight. Tova is the creator and producer of the acclaimed Names Not Numbers Intergenerational Holocaust Oral History Film Documentary Project. And Dove is her spouse and collaborator. I've had the, the pleasure to watch our eighth graders work with them for, I think, three different years now. And what they create is incredibly moving and incredibly meaningful to them. On top of that, we have Elise Dowell, who is the CEO of JCC Midwestchester. And we have other former Schechter Manhattan Alumni Leadership Awardees, Ariel Kaminsky from the class of 2011, Charles Kupferberg from the class of 2007. I also wanna say a quick thank out to the faculty and staff of Schechter Manhattan. First of all, you always step up to the plate. You ask me what you can do. You say, how's it going? You make coming to work every day a joy. And last but not least, 
I got to talk about my gala team, Timothy Jaddock, Paige Proctor, and Peter Gristas. They have taken over the technical aspects of the evening and done so much to make sure that we all look good. Now, we have a lot of people from the JCC in Manhattan, Rabbi Joanna Samuel, Samuels, Lorraine Mota, Vereen Morris, Matt Temkin and his crew of technical wizards, Bennett Leeds, Spencer Brigman, Howard Rappaport, the elite service group who takes care of the building, uh, our Schechter Manhattan alumni parents who are tonight's caterer and floral designers, Bruce, Bruce and Eva Safa of Chef, Chef's Table and their staff. And now finally, I'd like to introduce Toby Cohen. Toby is 16 years old and graduated from Schechter Manhattan in 2020. He is currently a vocal major at LaGuardia High School. He plays the guitar and piano and is passionate about songwriting. Toby will perform Land of Hopes and Dreams by Bruce Springsteen. Take it away, Toby. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Toby Cohen, and I graduated Schechter Manhattan in 2020. And this is Land of Hope and Dreams by Bruce Springsteen. Grab your ticket and your suitcase. Thunder's rolling down this track. You don't know where you're going now, but you know you won't be back. Well, darling, if you're weary, lay your head upon my chest. We'll take what we can carry, and we'll leave the rest. Well, big wheels roll through fields where sunlight streams. And meet me in a land of hope and dreams. Na 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 na. Well, I will provide for you, and I'll stand by your side. Cause you'll need a good companion now for this part of the ride. Yeah, leave behind your sorrow. Let this day be the last, cause tomorrow there'll be sunshine and all this darkness pass. Well, big wheels roll through fields where sunlight streams. Help me be in a life dream. Oh, this train carries saints and sinners. This train carries losers and winners. This train carries lords and gamblers. This train it carries lost souls. I said, this train dreams will not be thwarted. This train faith will be rewarded. This train. The steel wheel singing this train, bells of freedom ring. Where big wheels roll through fields where sunlight streams. Meet me in a land of hope and meet me in a land of hope. Meet me in a land of hope and dreams. Thank you. Thank you, Toby. I think there's a new boss in the house. 
Land of Hopes and Dreams, what a perfect song to pick. Um, but another perfect song would have been Fever, right? Let's uh, keep the uh, temperature going. Um, I like to start with some words of Torah. Of course, there's a chancellor or two in the house, and I'm a little nervous about that, but maybe you'll forgive me. According to Midrash Rabbah, when the Jewish people stood at Sinai to receive the Torah, God asked for a guarantee that they would keep it. They replied, Avotenu or Vimotanu, our ancestors will be our guardians, our guarantors. When this was unacceptable, they offered, Nevienu or Vimanu, our prophets will be our guarantors. And this too, God didn't accept. But when they said, Banenu or Vimotanu, our children will be our guarantors. God replied, indeed, these are good guarantors. For their, for their sake, I will give it to you. This is a promise we all made because as you know, we all stood at Sinai, saw each one of you there. And that was a pivotal moment. Our forebearers kept that promise and we're the and we were their guarantors. How have we fared? And what do we do now to pay that forward? You're all here because you believe in the future, that the future of the Jewish community is not only communally important, but it's personally important to each one of us. Many of us, whether we have children or not, see these students, indeed all Jewish students, all Jewish children as our own. They are our stake in the future. I'm involved in this school because I take that obligation very strongly and very seriously. I see in the school the very elements we need to guarantee that the future leaders of our community will be the most educated, the most inspired, the most ethical, the most Jewish values forward cadre to take on the next chapter of our story. This evening has shown us all the reasons why this is true about this particular school at this time. I wanna briefly add just three more reasons why your extra support is critical tonight. And as you ready your phones to raise the temperature, whether it's $100, $50, or $1,000, let me just tell you about a couple of things. At Schechter Manhattan, the city serves as an extension of the classroom. The expanded classroom initiative offers students the opportunity to take their learning out of the classroom and to the next level. More than just field trips, the expanded classroom initiative means that Schechter, cl Schechter classrooms offer the reach of the nation's largest city, from parks to maker spaces and historic neighborhoods and buildings. The breadth of our program is unparalleled. Second, fundraising initiatives such as this gala and the annual Hanukkah match sustain our efforts to prioritize competitive teacher compensation. At a time when there are fewer teachers to the number of students in our city, Schechter Manhattan strives to elevate the profession and show our appreciation for teachers through compensating them for their expertise and talent. Your support helps make this pr priority a reality. And finally, the Schechter Manhattan experience culminates in a two week trip to Israel. The eighth grade students who recently returned from this year's trip traveled to Israel together to create memories that will last a lifetime and to nourish a love of Israel and the Jewish people that will live in their hearts and consciousness as they continue to grow as engaged members of the Jewish community. Your text to pledge gift helps us cover the cost of the teacher chaperones and the countless student experiences. Although all of us stretch to, to make a significant gift for this evening, 
I'll start you off by making an additional $180 as my text pledge. It is that extra measure that I give because remember when we stood at Sinai? I looked around and I saw the guarantors we offered were truly the reason for our magnificent inheritance. Let us continue to make it so. And speaking of the land of hopes and dreams, please enjoy the following video. In second grade, I think, um, in sixth grade, I have to have to pray you. Why did Moses go in the water? He wanted to be in the water. <laughs> oh my god. That's a dad's picture. So, do you remember having a special big class? I yeah, I guess everyone likes each other. It's a much smaller school than other schools. Everybody knows your name. I think the main thing that makes Chester unique is we got Judaism. We come together for Model Seder and we come together every Rosh Kodesh. My favorite thing about Chester is probably learning all about Jewish history. Wow. I learned about Israel. I like art and math. Probably music. My favorite subject is art. Art and Parsha Hashavua. I really enjoy our science class because it's a lot of hands-on work. In my opinion, school is important because I need an education if I want to be successful in life. Because you have to learn things that you don't know, like math, reading, writing. I also think that it's good that people like socialize with each other so you can learn how to interact with people better. What community are you a part of, Leon? Um, I'm a part of the Jewish community. Check there. Yeah, I belong to this community. I'm part of the Shul community where I take my gymnastics classes. I think that's one community that I get. Well, the community is like a lot of people are who are like kind of like family and see each other. The community means that nobody should try to put you down so they can be higher. Also, like some cities or towns in a community. Any amount of people can bond over a certain thing. It's always important to have some form of independence in your life, but you also need community. There's lots of different jobs that can help your community, like police officers, doctors, teachers, you can be a musician, you can play for people in an audience, do what you love. Mostly any job can help your community. A lot of the projects that we do like school-wide are mostly helping people. Recently we worked with Ramon Tikva and we worked with them to make um, Ramon camps more accessible. Last year, we had this thing where the entire school came together to make this uh, pantry, and uh, we installed it on 107. And now we always like restock with food just to help out the community. To be a leader means like it kind of means like to tell people what to do. Being a leader means that you encourage people, like you're doing good and they should do what you're doing. Taking the initiative and deciding this is the idea. It means being a brave and a leader in lots of people. I think a leader means to help people make the right decisions. A leader will persevere. I think a leader needs to have good sportsmanship. You have to be able to consider everybody's ideas and be flexible. Sometimes kids can be leaders. If they show that they are able to represent and they're able to work together with people. Communicating is a big part of leadership. Schachter teaches that pretty well with debates or presentations. There's so much focus on collaboration. So um, we learn how to be like a leader and a role model for younger kids. When I grow up, I want to be a baseball player. Ballet dancer. A ballerina or a teacher. I want to run and I want to build someone who saves seals. I have a lot of ideas. 
So an ice cream maker, a chef, an artist. I want to be a professional equestrian. I haven't really thought about it. I actually don't know what I want to be when I grow grow up because there's a lot of different jobs. I'm not totally sure what I want to be when I grow up, but I know I want to do something that helps the community. Yeah. As we head on to high school, we have to start thinking about that. I will definitely carry chef in my back pocket. Please welcome Gary Pretzfelder, principal, to the stage. Good evening, everyone. That was amazing. Um, as you know, at Schechter Manhattan, we are focused on the whole child. Our entire team works to learn about and understand the various experiences that make up a child's life and see those experiences from multiple perspectives. Similarly, we try to think about our teachers in the same way, to understand them as educational professionals and as the interesting, complex human beings that they are. At Schechter Manhattan, we are not only focused on the whole child, we are focused on the whole teacher. This week, from tomorrow, Monday, May 8th, through Friday, May 12th, is National Teacher Appreciation Week, <clears throat> the annual celebration of teachers across the country. Like we do every year, our Schechter Manhattan community will again celebrate our teachers and our exceptional and talented human beings with a range of events and gifts this week. And I am proud this evening to use this platform to kick off our appreciation of our teachers who are our role models, who are our friends, and who are our colleagues, and to acknowledge them while we are in the midst of community. I love the story about the person who meets someone at a party, and they're talking, and one asks the other, so what do you do? They say, I'm a teacher. What do you teach, asks the first. And the teacher replies, children. Teaching is so many things. Yes, it's about coming prepared with the right content and material and finding the best way to share it with students. <clears throat> but the truth is, is teaching is so much more. To be a good teacher is also being a friend, a parent, and a counselor. It's being an artist, a performer, and a project manager. It's being a nurse, a mediator, a consultant, and to walk around knowing that people are always looking up to you as role models and much, much more, and that's not easy. I've worked at this school for many years, and I continue to be awed by how much our teachers know, understand, and care for their students, their children every day, and, they approach their craft and their subject matter with intentionality, with awe, with thoughtfulness, innovation, seriousness, creativity, and an ongoing sense of renewal. I am continuously in awe and inspired by what goes on in our classrooms and how our teachers make this happen. And for that, and I think I speak on behalf of every member of the community in this, uh, in this room, I am moved and deeply grateful. Tonight, I wanna to celebrate each teacher by name. When I call your name teachers, you're the ones wearing the boutonnieres. When I call your name, I would ask you please to stand and also remain standing until all the others are standing with you. I think I have the list of all the people who are here. There are a number of teachers who couldn't make it this evening either because they were sick this past week and are not yet ready to come back. Um, one or two are, are out of town, but let me see how I go. So with great thanks and appreciation, Alex Pearl. Where are you, Alex? Stay standing. Allison Levine. Daniel Ori. Douglas Corzine, 
Elisa Marcus. Ellen Alt. Nadav Weisel. Ruti Servi. Shira Jacobson. Holly Berkovich, Toby Barg, and Yara Pinkas. There are a few others who I don't believe are here, but I feel like it's my duty to mention their name. They are as integral part of what goes on in our school and the amazing work that our teachers do. And they are and if you are by chance here and I forgot you, then here you are. <laughs> um, Beth Jarrett, Brooke Heisner, Ellie Pomerantz, Esty Chapman, Etty Rosen, George Gurin, Judith Weinsteiner, Maria Knurenko, Mike Yard, and Scott Rodriguez. For all of our teachers, and for all the ways that you show up every day and live the whole lives that you do, I share my appreciation and my deepest and most heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you. I know I, be, I, know I speak on behalf of Chris when I say that we could not be more proud to be part of a professional community like ours. Todaraba. <clears throat> And finally, I know that I'm not supposed to do this because it was already done, but it would be, um, I would be amiss if I wouldn't say a special shout out to the admin team who we love and without whom we could not complete our daily responsibilities. Timothy, Paige, Chris, Eric, and Peter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have come to the end of our program, but before we, I give the last few remarks. Let's let's give a hand uh, to to Gary Pretzfelder for that moving testament to our teachers, to our team. Thank you, Gary. Really appreciate it. So I am standing between you and Nosh and schmoozing and the rooftop. So I'm going to be very lean here. I do want to say thank you so much to our honorees for for agreeing to be honored. Prisma, Shoshana, Mark, we really appreciate everything that you've done um, to support the school and, and the larger mission, because it's all about our students. We could not have had tonight without Eric and his team, Paige, Peter, and Timothy. We really couldn't. They worked so beautifully and so tranquilly and so efficiently. We are grateful to their expertise, um, to their leadership, and to the, the, the role model that they serve to our students as well. Um, we're at a gala, folks. So there's all we've got a silent auction up there. If you see my name, don't bid. Go to the next item. Um, please don't forget text to pledge as well. We're gonna get that on the screen in just a bit. Um, and really, it's just directions to the rooftop. You press R in the elevator. There, are, there's one dedicated to us, which you can take any. There's food. There are drinks. Please, please mingle. Please, please give. Thank you for being here. Please make sure to thank our teachers our staff, our trustees who made time to be here today and who helped us get to our fundraising goal. Thank you, all of you, in particular, Howard, Beth, and all and, and Julie, and all of those who represent our board of trustees, parents, community members, those of you in the larger Jewish community, uh, supporters of our honorees. Thank you for being here tonight and making this uh, welcome. Um, this so warm and uh, allowing us to welcome you. The party continues. I can't wait to speak with you and to, to, to continue uh, having a great time this evening. So please make your way down to the elevator on the right side and uh, have a nosh. Good evening and congratulations to our honorees. <laughs>